So I thought I would pass on some tips to would-be webinar organizers. The best way to do that is to ask yourself these questions if you are planning on hosting a webinar. Please, actually, please ask yourself these questions because they will really, really help you. Have you, first of all, left yourself enough time for this webinar thingy? Yes, you've got a great speaker who can only do a week on Monday, so that's your date. Obviously, it only takes seconds to book a webinar in Eventbrite. It's only 60 minutes after all, and you know you can spam LinkedIn the week beforehand to get yourself an audience. But just because you can doesn't mean you actually should schedule an event too quickly. Give yourself at least three weeks to build momentum, to iron out any issues, to plan an awesome agenda, for example. Next, ask yourself, who is my audience? Now, I don't mean, are they telco staff, brain scientists, whoever your ideal clients are. I mean, have you considered that even um, recruiters and HR experts are people too? They deserve more than a dull, dry couple of hours of presentations. And even if that's what you're used to in your industry, it doesn't mean you have to do the same. Your audience can pretty much sit on any webinar that they want right now. So make sure that they would want to join yours. Find ways to engage and charm them. Next question, do you have a fluster proof host? I.e. one with poise, patter, personality. When you go live, stuff happens. I don't know, the mix of tech and human beings doesn't always work. Slides appear in the wrong orders. Presenters miss their cue. There are tech difficulties. Basically things that can create and often do stress and panic in the organizers. But your moderator needs to be super calm and cool to redirect it to make some quick decisions and help the audience feel that all is okay and they are not actually witnessing a car crash. Can your moderator, your host, your MC, whatever you call them, can they turn on the charm, the humor and the confidence and put people at their ease? Next question, have you booked in a rehearsal for the day before? The more inexperienced they are, the more shocked a client is when I tell them that my fee actually also includes rehearsal time. I can't tell you how many people have never even considered that they will need to have a practice or a run through beforehand. Now, let me tell you that all good live TV is rehearsed. Obviously not word for word, but running orders, scripts, timings, lighting checks, all this kind of through are gone through in detail usually beforehand. Now, it's also um, having a practice beforehand, a rehearsal is a really nice bonding experience because it means that the speakers and the hosts have all met each other beforehand, made digital friends, if you like, um, grasped the cut of each other's jib. All of these things help them to have that elusive chemistry when the real life event actually happens. And also, have you asked your team and your speakers to turn up early? Everyone in the team needs to be on the platform, logging in early so that you can check that they're framed well, that their lighting is good, that the sound is on, the Wi-Fi is okay. Everything is good and your people are happy before you start. Don't just assume that they'll be there when the audience starts filing in or asking to be let on to the webinar. That way, madness lies. So if madness is something you're worried about, I can't help you. But if it's how am I going to make my webinar engaging, professional and talked about in the right way, then I can. Drop me a line.